It's time now to turn to perhaps the most important and well-known application of diodes, rectification. That is turning an AC signal into a DC one. This is shown on the screen. If we pass the AC signal through the diode, it will remove a negative part of the signal and also approximately 0.7 volts will be lost across the diode due to the diode drop across the depletion region. This is not yet a DC signal, it's just a pulsed one. For the final operation, we need to add a capacitor. The capacitor will charge up when the pulse is present and then discharge into the load when the pulse is absent. We just need to pick a capacitor with a suitable time constant to smooth out the pulses. The resulting DC voltage will be the RMS voltage of the input AC waveform. You can work out a suitable capacitor value from first principles, but a simple formula which has been derived for this is that the value of a capacitor is equal to the load current divided by VR times F, where VR is the ripple voltage and F is the frequency. The maximum load current can easily be calculated by Ohm's law because it's just the output voltage divided by the load resistance. The meaning of a ripple voltage is shown in a diagram of the screen. It is basically the amount of variation in the final DC voltage. So the whole circuit looks as shown on the screen. As you will find out over the next few videos, there are quite a number of different ways of improving on this circuit.